Good afternoon, my name is Ryan Wright, and I'm sure we all have a brother or sister or daughter or son who are very, very close to, I would hope, and that if they were in a time of need, and they were in pain or being hurt, that you would come to their rescue. And at times it could be the meaning of sacrificing your own life to have them live. And this is exactly what our men and women do in today's military, in sacrificing their own life for each other. Never leaving another man behind. And I'm going to talk about today is Sergeant John Levito. I'm going to cover where he's from, his accomplishments in the Air Force, and the impact of his accomplishments in today's Air Force. To start, Sergeant John Levito was born in Hartford, Connecticut on November 1st of 1945. Sergeant John Levito was raised on a farm with his three other brothers and his mom and dad. Throughout high school, Sergeant John Levitou played baseball and football, and after graduation of high school, he decided initially to join the Navy. And after further time and consideration, he changed his mind and decided to join the Air Force in 1966. So now knowing where Sergeant John Levitou is from, I'm going to cover his accomplishments while deployed in Vietnam and what led him to be a recipient of the Medal of Honor. To start, this is Sergeant John Levito, who was deployed in Vietnam. Now, in 1969, Sergeant John Levito was deployed in Vietnam. On the 24th of February, he was asked by another crew loadmaster if he would serve in form. Sergeant John Levito boarded the aircraft, an AC-47, and they flew around Vietnam looking for enemy forces. While flying, his aircraft became under enemy fire from ground to air burst. His aircraft was hit, and Sergeant John Levitou and his crew received injuries. Sergeant John Levitou himself received in- injuries to his upper left chest and his lower left leg. Throughout all the chaos and confusion, Sergeant John Levitou realized that there was a magnesium flare on fire next to open ammo can that could cause further damage to his crewmates and the aircraft. Without hesitation, Sergeant John Levito jumped on top of the burning flare, dragging himself to the edge of the window and throwing the flare outside of the aircraft, saving the lives of his other 10 crewmates and the aircraft that night. Now in 1970, Sergeant John Levito was awarded the Medal of Honor, and he was given to it by President Nixon. Now President Nixon read off a recipient of his award medal package, saying that what his accomplishments were that night in 1969, 24 February. And this is a picture of Sergeant John Levitou being awarded the highest military honor of the Medal of Honor. Now knowing the accomplishments of Sergeant John Levitou while deployed in Vietnam, I'm going to talk about the impact Sergeant John Levito has had on today's Air Force. Now, the Air Force has three core values. Service before self, excellence in all we do, and integrity first. Sergeant John Levito embodies especially all three core values, but especially service before self and excellence in all we do. And to this day in the Air Force, before you become a NCO, a Staff Sergeant E5, you must first go through a school called the Airman Leadership School. And this school teaches you leadership, selflessness, and teaches you the history and what's needed to be a proficient writer in today's Air Force. Now, upon graduation, the award, the highest award, is given to the student who embodies leadership, excellence, teamwork, and great academics. And this award will be the John Levito Award. And again, it goes to the highest recipient of the class. And here is a picture of the award that would be given for the Airman Leadership School. Now knowing that the impact Sergeant John Levito has had on our Air Force today, I'm going to conclude this speech by talking about 
Again, saw in John Levito when he was born, Hartford, Connecticut, November 1st, 1945. Now, Sergeant John Levito was deployed in 1969 to Vietnam, in which time his service and his actions of selflessness, jumping on top of the burning flare and throwing it outside the aircraft, led to the safe return of his 10 other airmen and his aircraft. Now, in today's Air Force, Sergeant John Levito still has an impact and uh, a heritage passed on through the Airman Leadership School with the award of the John Levito Award. Now, knowing these things, I hope this has shown you in the military's eyes of what a true hero is. Thank you for your time. Have a good night.